Hi guys, and today is a really cool day, ESPN Junior Tuesday. And first on ESPN Junior Tuesday, we are going to be talking about the Raiders-Browns game. So, that game count came down to the last seconds of the game. Daniel Carlson hit a field goal that was that he made and um, with three seconds left. And then um, they were winning by two points, 16 to 14. But they were losing, but they were actually winning 13-7. And the Browns score a touchdown. Um, uh, I think Nick Chubb. No, no, someone else. Um, and then um, they get the extra points, so the Browns are winning 14-13. to Dana Carson had a big day. Um, and then, then the Browns... Um, so then... The Raiders get the ball back with like two minutes left. They have to spend two minutes, get to like the 20 or 30 yard line, and then kick a field goal. That's what they did. Their field goal, I don't know, I think it was about 30 yards. Um, it was, it looked, it, I actually couldn't see the game because, uh, you know, I live in Connecticut. So I couldn't see the game. Because uh, it was, I think, in um, Cincinnati. Um, so, um, I couldn't see it. Um, but um, I looked at it on my phone, and it I think it said at Cleveland 20 when they kicked it. Or it might have said at the Cleveland 30, so then it was probably a 40-yarder. Um, but I'm not sure. It's one of those. Um, and uh, uh, now news about some... The news about Broncos, Teddy Bridgewater, head injury. And he is not expected to play in the next week against the Raiders. So that makes the Raiders have a good chance of climbing up the standings in the um, in their standing. So I think that they have a pretty good chance that they can win. Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, or they don't have a... Good chance. I think they have a good chance that they will win against the Broncos, but I think they don't have too much chance of beating the Chargers um, and getting into the wild card spot. I think they are going to stay in the hunt and not run into the playoffs, but um, they still have three games left, so they could still get up to 10 wins if they win all their games. But I think their games are like Chargers, Broncos, and Colts. Colts, you know, Jonathan Taylor. Um, and that's just beast mode. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to, uh, the Raiders defense are going to be able to block someone like Jonathan Taylor. And in the Chargers game, last game, I think they won 28 to 14. So we should be ready for the Chargers to have the same exact players, those good players that they can do. Then, um, we, then... Uh, the Broncos, I think we have a pretty good chance of beating them in the um, understanding because if we win against them in this week and now we win one of the other weeks and the Broncos lose another week, then we're definitely on top of the Broncos. And there is still a chance that we could get above the Chargers if the Chargers lose all their games and we win all our games. And we need the Broncos to lose most of their games too. But I'm not sure if the Chargers are playing the Broncos. Um, so that could, that would, um, that would not be good for us if the Chargers are playing the Broncos. So that at least one of them would win. Probably the Chargers. And that's the team that we're trying to get in front of the most. The Raiders. So now we're going to talk about the Colts Patriots. Uh, I think 27 to 17. Yeah. And um, it was a pretty cool game. Um, Jonathan Taylor had a good game. He ran one that was like this to like uh, the left side of the field and ran on the sideline, arced in, arced back out, and then got tackled. So it was a pretty nice run. Um, and the Patriots defense only got five points because the Colts scored a lot of TDs. So... Um, uh, that's because I was play. I was doing my fantasy football. Um, we lost our fantasy football, but we that we were actually in the playoffs in our fantasy football. So 
we are going to play against the uh, one of the team who lost to the other team for third and fourth. And if we win, we'll get third. If we lose, we get fourth. So that will be cool for our fantasy. But that Colts Patriots game was like, a really good game. Um, now, um, hmm, maybe we'll talk about the upcoming games. Uh, so the Seahawks against the Rams game. I think the Rams have a pretty uh, good percent chance to win. I'm calling about like, like Rams by 14. Um, and in I think it's Washington against. Washington against um let's see I don't know what team they're playing against but I, I think it no it's Washington against the Eagles but I'm calling Eagles by seven so I think um, that those games are going to be pretty uh, I think we'll be able to watch those games at um, tomorrow on I uh, mean Oh, yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I forgot. So we'll be able to watch those games today on Tuesday. Uh, I think one of them's at 7, and then the other one's like at like 4 or 5 or something. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm actually really excited for the Seahawks-Rams game because um, just I want to see the Seahawks win because that would be so cool. And the Washington uh, against the Eagles game, um, uh, I think the Eagles are going to win just because they have, like, uh, they're doing pretty good. Um, but they're not, like, doing really high stakes good. So, now, injuries for Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay Buccaneers did not have a good week. They lost 9-0 to to the Saints. And we do not think that would happen this week. So, now, this week was really crazy for the Buccaneers. They lost Chris Godwin, I think. Yeah, yeah, Chris Godwin. And um, I think they lost Mike Evans to COVID protocols, or it might have been something else. Um, and I think something happened to Leonard Fournette, but I'm not sure. And, like, the only players who are available are, like, Ronald Jones III, Rob Gronkowski, and Tom Brady. Um, so those are, like, the only players who they could throw to, and then, like, all, like, the other rookies. So, that was a hard game for them. Um, and I think they, like, all got hurt in, like, the second quarter. Um, and then they have, like, nothing for the second half. And, um, now we're going to talk, um, let's see, about Packers Ravens. So, actually, no, we're going to talk about the Chiefs. Harrison Bucker, kicker, he is, I think, hurt or maybe on COVID protocols. Um, so he's expected, I don't think, to play in the next game. And Travis Kelsey is on uh, COVID protocols, but he's expected to play uh, in the next game against, I don't know. <laughs> so um, I think that uh, the Chiefs are going to uh, have a, 99% chance to get into the playoffs because uh, they're just, they don't have already like 10 or 11 wins, so they probably already is, are in the playoffs. Okay, that has been it for Tuesday ESPN Junior, and I'll see you on Thursday.